Hi, today I want to show you a really cool feature of Unity, ability to add assets inside other assets. I'm personally calling it nested assets. Unity isn't this extensively for model importing, to store materials, textures, meshes, animations and other data inside of one object. These nested objects cannot be deleted or renamed by default in Unity and fully managed by editor script of main asset. I already created an empty project. Uh, let's start with creating some scripts. Uh, first should be nested asset. This is the scriptable object. We are going to put it inside of the parent. And the parent is nested asset parent, also scriptable object. The third one is nested asset parent editor. It will handle object creation, deletion, renaming, or whatever it is. Now I'm gonna open the scripts in Rider, delete all unnecessary code. Uh, make sure that nested assets uh, inherits from scriptable object, as well as nested asset parents. Uh, now to the nested asset parent editor. In future I'll just call it editor script. First of all it should inherit from editor. It should have attribute for custom editor and definition for the type of nested asset parent. Also to create an S parent uh, we should have an attribute create asset menu uh, for the file name and menu name I'm gonna use a nice C sharp feature name off it handles direct reference to the script name so if you rename it your menu will change as well in editor script, I'm gonna overwrite on inspector GUI and just for the test purposes, uh, draw. I will draw a label with some random text. Now let's just head into the Unity. Wait to it recompiles and. Here in create menu, we should see our nested asset parent. Create it, and the label and editor is working. Now let's head back to the editor script and add the actual functionality to create a child assets. First of all, we need to make a separate method. Uh, secondly, I'll use GUI layout for button drawing and call create child method from it. In here, we need to create an instance of our scriptable object. I'll just call it child. Scriptable object instances are created not with a constructor new keyword but with static method scriptable object dot create instance and we're gonna pass a generic type of nested asset uh, now this asset is uh, exist in memory but not exist in a project as a file so the magic command is asset database add object to asset we're gonna add a child. It has two overloads with a path and asset object. We can use a target. And the target represents the current object inspected by this editor. After adding an object, uh, we just save all assets. And this should pretty much work. Now we have a button here, look what happens. 
there it is an asset without a name yeah I'm uh, gonna fix that now so when we just create an instance I'll assign a name variable to name of nested asset create new parent and now it has a name as you seen before, to delete child from asset, I need to delete the main asset because if I hit delete, nothing happens. So let's try to implement this functionality. I'm gonna make a method to delete child. As a parameter, I'm just gonna pass a unity object. First of all, we need to remove this asset from main asset. It's done with this command. I'm just gonna pass it child here. After that, object should be deleted, not just removed. So for deletion in editor and also assets, we need to use destroy immediate method and set true for allowing it to destroy assets and save all assets again. But now how to get the child? Well, for this, we need to implement child store inside of parent. I'm gonna create a public list for nested asset, call it childs. In editor, I'm gonna cache this serialized property. Not cache, just get serialized property childs. It's done by calling on serialized object find property and passing the property name or the path. Uh, I'm gonna use name off again. This time it's called like static member nested asset parent child. Here I'm just gonna disable UI to make sure the list can be edited on lead code not in the inspector. disabled now and creating child should actually return a child this would be nested asset and we're gonna just return child instance in here to create a new child we will use serialized property methods So the child's array has a zero length by default. We need to increase it by one and then get array element at index of child's array says minus one. This will be the last element. And object reference value should be our newly created child. Let's test. There it is. Our childs are added to the list. Now when we store their references, we can delete them. I'm just gonna delete the last childs. So it will be Delete child. We 
with the with the, the child's property get array element and index of child's array size minus one and object reference now we should see another button oh that's all we'll just oh sure we need to apply serialized object apply modified properties after we're done redacting all of this and update before we start redacting now let's recreate the object because it's broken so create child there it is create more childs a lot of child well you cannot be null oh sure after deleting we also need to apply serialized object or rather remove this entry so let's pass this reference here or rather the property and now child or actually I can do just child's array size minus minus this will delete last child now let's again recreate the object create and delete now it's working <laughs>